It seemed like you put the team on your back tonight throughout the game, both offense and defense. What was it about tonight and the kind of game you had? Um, you know, first of all, for me, um, you know, I have to give the, the glory to the Lord. Um, uh, tonight was a special night, um, you know, for for our group because we had, you know, we had this chance to to close it out here at home and. Um, you know, for, for me, the biggest thing was uh, just bringing energy, bringing energy to our group. I felt like we lacked it in the first quarter. And uh, when I came back in the second, I felt like uh, we needed to step it up. We were talking about it a lot in the huddle, but we weren't really getting it done. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we have had a great opportunity here at home to handle this. And, um, and I knew it was going to take, you know, a lot more. Than, than just playing a normal game. Al, so you had over 20 points, 15 boards, five assists tonight. Only other players at your age to do that were LeBron and Kareem in NBA history. You never really have cared about stats. So I'm wondering how it feels hearing that kind of stat line, that kind of history. It feels great because we won. <laughs> so uh, that's the only satisfaction I get out of it. You can have a game like that, and if you don't get it done, you know. Um, but, but I'm happy because I was able to help the team, you know, win this game. This was, um, you know, we have to give Cleveland credit. They were depleted, and they just did not quit. They really pushed us to the brink. And then Garland kept going after you in those switches over and over throughout the game, and you stopped them pretty much every time. So how much did you relish them continuing to go at you and continuing to challenge you throughout the game? Um, yeah, uh, you know, Joe talked about us, you know, taking the challenge uh, defensively, individually. And, um, and, and, you know, this was, you know, one of those nights that we had to, you know, each, as a man, we had to look in the mirror and, and, um, and step up and try to do our best. And for me, it was just, um, you know, trying to do whatever I could and uh, use my length and um, just staying solid and just continue to take on that challenge time after time. Al, you said your secret that you, this morning that faith at 37 and, and a secret, which you didn't want to talk about, got you through that. But did you feel this morning when you woke up that you had that, that kind of passion, that energy? Because I think they, there were 16 rebounds in the fourth quarter. You had nine of them out of the 16 total for both teams. What kind of drove you all the way through that game to get it done? Um, you know, I, I just think, uh, you know, we talked about this morning having the opportunity here at home. And, you know, I, I feel like at times we probably didn't shoot the ball as well as we wanted to. And um, sometimes that happens in the past and, you know, things don't go our way. And uh, so for me, it was like, man, just, just trying to find a way. Um, so uh, I felt OK this morning. I didn't feel great necessarily. Um, but uh, once we got going and the game got going and, and, you know, I just saw that we were just we weren't where we needed to be as a, as a group. Like, it's like you have to do something. And, 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 um, and, and I just want to bring that energy to our group. And the group was able to feed off of it. And, and we all just continue to play. Um, the guys continue to trust me because uh, the way that they were um, designing everything was for me to essentially shoot the ball or make plays through me. So, um, uh, you know, the guys just did a great job. JT, JB, um, Drew, time after time, finding me and, um, and, and just having confidence in me. Uh, Al, there was a timeout during the third quarter where you could see you and Derek both looked pretty animated talking to the team in the huddle. I'm just curious, what was the message you were trying to convey in that timeout, and how do you feel about the, the way you guys responded? Um, Man, today, tonight, I honestly, I felt like there was like a bunch of timeouts, and I feel like I said a lot of stuff, so I, I can't remember. But it was probably along the lines of, you know, we have to continue the intensity, you know, defensively, we have to play hard. Um, we all wanted this so bad, um, and I'm just happy that we were able to take advantage of this. You know, in, in, in the past, we've been in this position and haven't been able to close things and this is a sign of growth for our group so I'm, I'm very proud of that 
Al, I, I understand this is not what the end goal is, but for you to be a part of this core now for the last three years and where you're at in your career after 17 years, what does it mean to advance to a third straight Eastern Conference final? Um, it's special. Um, it, it's something that it's, it's hard to do. Um, it's very difficult to do, and it means a lot to me. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very proud of, um, you know, just the work that uh, our guys continue to put in, JT, JB, how they've continued to get better, how no matter what gets thrown to, at them, um, things that people want to talk about, criticize, um, our guys continue to, to work, and they continue to think, uh, what's best for our group and this year that's been very obvious you know guys are you know trying to play the right way they're they're sacrificing sacrificing for the team that's been a theme for us all year and um and i'm just very proud of of um, where we're at right now at this point understanding that there's you know a lot of work to do ahead for our group um but uh but yeah this is this another positive t step to where we want to get to al as a leader on this team Joe talked about how from day one you made a decision to trust in him. What has he done for this group this year and what has he done for you? Um, Joe um, ha has been key for our success. Um, uh, you know, I feel like he has put us in positions uh, uh, defensively but also um, offensively for us to continue to grow as players on the offensive side of the ball, continue to make reads, continue to figure things out. There's a lot of ways that teams try to play us, and, um, and I feel like he's been great tactically um, with our group, making us see things, making us think about them, and us being able to process so much information. And JT and JB, I feel like I've been great with that because it's, it, it's a lot that gets thrown at them and different things that they have to navigate. So. Joe has been really good with that, and just as a leader, um, just as a leader of our group, uh, we follow him. Um, he demands a lot from us, and um, and and you know we're we're right there. You know we're pl plugging away, and uh, we know obviously you know we still have a ways to go, but he's done a, he's done a very good job this year. Last question, Al. You've been uh, part of the Celtics organization for six seasons now. You had that special moment where you know the play had stopped and you walked out the middle of the court really embrace the cheers of the fans. Can you talk about what that moment was like and what your relationship with the Celtics fans kind of feels like at this stage in your Man, career? It's, uh, it's special. Um, it, it's special when you're here at the Garden. Um, this is something I don't, you know, I just don't take for granted. Um, uh, you know, the, the energy of the fans, our, our fans, they, they love the Celtics. They want us to play hard. They want us to play the right way. And um, I just felt very connected with them tonight, you know, with the way the, the that we were playing, that we got it going. I felt like there was that connection there, and and there was just a few times that I wanted, you know, to be embraced by them in those moments, and that, you know, that fuels me, that fuels our team. Um, so um, it, it was pretty pretty special here tonight. Presented by your New England Ford dealers, built for America, built Ford proud.